they told you about the loss in lunatics yet? No, I haven't heard about that. The fans at Western. Oh. No. no. Oh. <laughs> well, you'll be in for a treat on Friday. <laughs> At the presser, you said you weren't very familiar with the Lost and Lunatics. Are you more familiar now with that? No, I'm still not sure what that is. After going undefeated at home in the first half of the season, UND aimed to close 2019 strongly on the road at Western Michigan. So last last weekend of the, of the first half here, there was kind of a little sense of uh, finality about it, I think. You know, one, one to uh, kind of finish his first half off right. Um, and I think that really led into the weekend and you know guys were, were up and ready to go on Thursday and leading into Friday so I thought it was a good uh, good start for the weekend I thought. At first I was like wow because you know it could be that small for a college rank but I think it was awesome just because of their lunatic section you know it made it pretty fun to play and I kind of liked it a lot so it was cool. Goals were hard to come by Friday night Hits tallied up and the penalty kill repeatedly faced challenges. There's quite a few penalties. Uh, you know, some guys didn't get in the game for a little bit, but I thought overall it was, a, it was a super fun game to be a part of. You know, I thought it was really fast paced. Teams were both going back at each other, you know, and I thought we, uh, we really came together and we're resilient throughout the game. We didn't get uh, too shooken up when we didn't score a goal or if they got a chance, you knew that you know, we were just confident in our ability to maybe go out and win this game. Gavin Hain, however, sneaked one in the back of the net to secure the overtime win. Just have a lot of confidence the whole game, and uh, we just know we can do it. I think so. That's the biggest thing is we just believe in each other and uh, what we're doing and our coaches, and we just stick to our plan, and it's been working. Let's go, Matt. The physicality remained Saturday night, but with each hit North Dakota withstood, shots on goal racked up. Those are huge goals. Uh, even Judd there to start off uh, the game was a huge goal, especially that first shift for our line there. Uh, and the team, you know, I think it, you know, uh, it got the, our team up and ready to go. And you know, I think we answered. So you know, as a team, uh, I thought we played well. So. I think the feeling of just excitement, excitement, and you know, a little. A little bit of joy for sure, just finish off a great first half and you know all the, the different uh, the teams that have come through here and had that, that first half and everything and it's it's a nice little feather in the cap for sure but we know that it's it's not nearly over, you know, they don't hand out uh, trophies halfway through the year so if we want to throw ourselves a party for that we might as well call it a year so. As 2019 comes to a close, there has been no shortage of fun moments for the group. I'm having the most fun I've ever played with playing hockey. Um, you know, it's just fun to come to the rink every day and be with the guys. And I think it's kind of helping us on the ice too. I think we're just kind of loose out there and just playing our game. And we don't really, we just play with a ton of confidence and it's really fun right now. We're enjoying it. I think there's just that overall confidence of, of one another, to, to trust one another. And, in, in their particular job, you know. We've had so many different players score for us. We've had so many different players play well defensively for us. And I think it's just a trust and a confidence in not just yourself, but in one another to, to do your job. And you know, like on this night, this guy will do this for me for sure. You know, on another night, you know, this guy's gonna step up. It's just that sort of confidence in one another that I think is, is a huge characteristic that, you know, you know, you need if you want to really uh, make a push at the at the end of the year. 
was a lot of those those moments and, and for me to remember each and every one I'll have to probably take a little bit of time but having a guy like Josh Rieger who's a team first guy to come in the lineup with no preparation time at all and scoring a goal making a big impact guy guys believe and they feed and they grow off that and they get better and they I don't know that was kind of a defining moment in the first half for us I think.